first of all, uh, congratulations to Litkabelis. They played a very good game, and uh, they they did a very good job. So congratulations from my side. Um, our game started well. I thought it started well on both ends of the floor with physicality on the defensive end, with playing disruptive on the defensive end, with uh, moving the basketball on the offensive end. And um, it felt like after uh, five minutes in the first quarter, um, the aggressiveness, um, both both kind of faded, you know. Um, <coughs> Which you know, you which you know, we, we go to halftime. Uh, we're up three, and you've got time to adjust and time to talk about things. Um, and then comes the third quarter, and that was the biggest key to this game. I thought, like them making seven threes in the third quarter, us not being able to like adjust to those seven threes. You know, like um, going under th going under screens too much. You know, uh, getting hung up on on on, on screens that led into the into the handoffs for the for the three ball um, that hurt us a lot thought we got back defensively in the game in the fourth quarter um, got back defensively but then uh, could uh, still not score the basketball didn't have the you know the the easiness um, in this grind and fight back game uh, that we had before and uh, that's uh, that's the story of the game Coach, you mentioned those seven three-pointers by La Cables in the third quarter. Uh, was it uh, your defense not working or luck on their side? No, I don't think it's luck on their side. I think um, um, I think we were missing some urgency. You know, if uh, somebody gets hot um, and makes two, then you know two threes, then you know you need to like have the urgency to you know uh, guard that and take away the three. Um, so I can't say it's luck on their side. 25 points in the second half, uh, 17 turnovers. How concerning are these numbers? Uh, in in in, uh, and I think the 17 turnovers were uh, 11 in the first half, right? I think 11 in the first half. So it's kind of two, two different two different stories, you know. But obviously, like after after looking um, after looking at the at the game. And uh, hearing those numbers, of course, those are concerning numbers if you want to win the basketball game, right? It's, it's just too many turnovers overall. I'm going to keep it somewhere at 12 or 13 max. Um, and then, obviously, you've got to figure out ways to score the ball. And I, uh, I think this was the first game where we didn't shoot the ball well, you know. Uh, I still think we got some, some, some good stuff and some good looks. And we didn't shoot the three ball as good as we've shot in it so far. Um, you know, and then struggle to put numbers on the on the uh, scoreboard. Uh, on offense, is Jagr is too dependent on three pointers or not? No, um, especially you know, I, I thought like we um, we got the ball inside, we drove the ball. I think we had like in the first half, uh, like in the high sixties, we were at the in the two point area. You know, I think we shot like nine free throws in the first half, which. You know, it's kind of what we're aiming for, you know. So, um, uh, no, we're not trying to play handball and just shoot threes, you know. We're uh, trying to score the basketball, and one part of scoring the basketball is shooting threes if they're open, and if they're open, you keep shooting, you know. Can't forget getting to the rim, though, you know. With EuroLeague starting next week, uh, uh, what do you think the team needs to make adjustments? Um, what's the most concerning for you? Um, you know, away from away from uh, tactical and technical uh, technical um, adjustments, um, I think um, we. I mean, obviously, like we've got a. Um, you know, like um, I want to say, perhaps it is like a certain a certain um, urgency, perhaps you know, where uh, I felt we really had that urgency in in uh, the beginning of the game. Um, and understanding that we need that though for 40 minutes of the basketball game, um, and and so away from technical and tactical things, you know, on the mental side, like picking up that urgency for every possession uh, is key. Before the game, I said that for me, it's most important thing that my team 
start to do basic things in basketball, what we didn't do at all in the first two El Cal games. And really, before the game, I didn't, ta I didn't take care about results. So, of course, great win for us, but we're still the team who has one two in El Cal. So we must keep keep working. And uh, I think that that game proves to my my players what we can do if 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 we are together. Uh, coach, your team played a great first quarter. Was it a, uh, some adjustments you made during the halftime? No, no. We 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 just did things what what we practicing. Practice was always like much more better than what we showed the game. So, just player change, everything. Like we just play what 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 we practicing. Not nothing special for that game. Was it something that Jalgiris defense allowed you? Jalgiris bad defense. Well, I don't think so. We shoot very well. Uh, three point shot. We, you know, like we, we made some lucky shots. Uh, we had big problems when they started switching. We must talk about that. And uh, at the moment, I cannot. It's it's it's, it's like how to say stupid for me that I talk about Jalgiris defense. I'm. I, I will I will analyze our mistake in offense. Coach, uh, it seems that the game changed when you changed your starting lineup. For example, when Maldunas, uh, Gintvainis, uh, Normantas came uh, from the bench, the, the the play also changed. Do you agree? I said players change everything. Like I said, it's not my how to say. I deserve for that. We just do. We just did what we practicing. For sure, Margo and uh, Yakis, sorry, Normantas and uh, Gintvainis uh, gave us a lot of energy. Maldunas played great game. And after that, when starters, starters, we don't have starters yep. and uh, bench players. It's like, I don't like that, that phrase. And uh, they, give, they gave us energy for, 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 the, for, the, for everybody. And uh, when we play together, my players know how to play basketball. Uh, Marin Maric didn't play at the second half. Uh, I guess I know the reason why, but what is, uh, what is about you, his future in the team? What do you think about that? Marin finished the first half with three fouls. I start second half in, in, with Maldunas with two fouls. Marin step in, make fourth foul. Yeah, and they didn't play. OK, if, 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 if we play good, what are what, what you going to do? Line no, my question is, what is about his future in the team? What do you think about that? I don't, I don't understand the question. He will, what? His do you in see him in the roster of Let Of course. Of course. Thank you. Come on, it's third round of LKL. Yeah, just asking, Coach. Coach, next, team, your team, next week your team is playing Euro Cup game. Uh, is this game a confidence booster before that game? For, for sure. For sure, and... Uh, uh, I really think that uh, we, we can compete in uh, in our group. I cannot promise that we will advance or we will we'll, we'll make some wins, but for sure we can compete and uh, we show that tonight. And uh, if you play with, uh, I will be very happy if you play with uh, some with the same unity and uh, energy like today.